I met B in the sixth grade, and she had the cutest little buck teeth. But I thought she looked beautiful. So I asked her out in about seventh grade. We dated for a day. So little did I know when my sweet little 12-year-old Brady came home from her first day of middle school and told me that she had a boyfriend. And he was so cute, and his name was Trace that it would be her future husband. Of course, she came home a couple days later. She told me that he broke up with her because his mom said that he couldn't have a girlfriend anymore. So I broke up with her the next day after I asked her out. Ever since then, I've been collaborating this plan to get back together with her 10 years later. And I would say that my plan worked pretty well, right? They remained best friends all throughout middle school and high school. Trace was over at our house all the time. And we would always ask about her because we loved her so much. And they were always in different phases of their friendship. I swear, I think that whole year she was setting all of us up with Trace. <laughs> she was like, Trace is so cute, so on date him. Secretly, she was just in love with him. <laughs> Okay, Ashley, who do you want me to bring? And I was like, Brayden. <laughs> and Brayden came home just all as giddy as can be and talked about that wedding for two weeks straight, nonstop. I knew it was Trace. Trace got out of the friend zone. That's the first guy I've known to do that, by the way. So, congrats to Trace. They say that friends are the family that you choose. And in fifth grade, a new girl came to Madison Avenue and I knew the second I met her that she was special. She walked in on the first day and I told her that she was going to be my best friend and I did not give that Louisville, Mississippi girl an option. <laughs> I have not changed my mind since. She immediately became our family. These two have had quite a journey to find each other and I could not be happier. As you look around the wedding party tables, it appears they have friends from all stages of life. This is a testament to those two that I believe shows that they will keep striving but never forget where they came from. I know God was right. Everybody needs a helpmate. If you get the right one, then it's truly heaven on earth. It's the best relationship that you'll ever have and it's the most loving and supportive relationship you'll ever have. Words cannot describe how very proud I am of you and for you. God showed up big and answered my prayer that he would find someone to put up with you. <laughs> and then he would find someone that would love you just like he does unconditionally. And Trace, I honestly could not imagine anyone better for my sister, truly. You're patient, loving, and you always know how to be there for her during the best of times and the worst of times. But I'm be honest, y'all, Brandon's the best thing that's ever happened to me. She pushes me to be a better version of myself, and I couldn't ask for a better partner to do life with. She's one of the strongest people I've ever known. She's been around, and she strives to be a better version of herself daily. I mean, she's one of them. I mean, she's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh. That's all I can say. To be, I've dreamed of what I wanted in a wife, and you have been far better than anything I could ever dream of. I cannot wait to this thing called life together and be the power couple that we strive to be. I will love you and provide for you and take care of you. 
forever and always. You are the most amazing thing. I couldn't be more in love with you if I tried. To my T, I wish the words I write on this paper could do the way I feel about you justice. T, you are my rock, my biggest encourager, my safe place, and my protector. But my favorite title by far will be my husband. You make me a better person every single day, and through you, I see the Lord's goodness and faithfulness. To be fully known and still fully loved is something I have always prayed for, and with you, my prayers are answered. I love you with my whole heart, and I still cannot believe that I'm the one that God has allowed to spend the rest of my life with you. I love her. You look beautiful. <laughs> Grace, you may kiss the bride. I know we always joke about Trace getting out of the friend zone and playing the long game, but uh, he would have rather been stuck in the friend zone for years than not have you in his life at all. So just know that the man you are marrying has been waiting on this day for years and he isn't going anywhere. Give your P.S. I have loved you since I saw your cute little buck teeth in the sixth grade. I love you forever and always. Your tea.